said you weren't really looking ahead to this Albany game with what you had coming up this weekend. Right. You've got BC and UConn coming up in a few weeks now. How do you stop yourself from looking ahead to those since those are obviously huge games for you? You just have to stay in the moment. That's coaching. Um, you know, I'm typically one game ahead because of reviewing the video and cutting video and doing all that stuff. Um, but if I'm focusing on UConn or BC and not Albany, um, shame on me. I can't do that. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. 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 Hi, guys. Hi, Coach. How are you, Coach? Uh, two very different games this uh -huh. weekend. You know, blowout on Friday, sure. but this one a lot closer. In both games, though, the defense has just been really good, not allowing shots on goal, not allowing really anything. How is that defense working? Um, well, obviously it's working pretty well. I mean, to give up two shots in two games, um, you know, Friday to give up zero shots, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. I mean, it's pretty much unheard of in field hockey. Um, but I think that there's still a lot that we can improve upon. I always have to remember we're, when we want to be a Big East champion and a national champion, you got to play speed that's similar to ours. So when I review video, um, I'm always keeping in the back of my mind what the best standard in Division One field hockey is, and uh, there's a lot of things that we've got to improve upon. So. Amy Key seemed like she played the whole game, so did Nicole Nelson. A lot yep. of that defense on the field most of the game. Uh -huh. um, how, do, how, do, how does the leadership of those two in particular help this defense? It helps tremendously. Their voices, they organize the people in front of them, and um, the people in front cut the lines very well and close the spaces off. Um, we have good speed, and when we're closing those spaces, it makes it difficult for teams that don't have as much speed as us to be able to penetrate and get any type of shots. Um, and they're the things that we have to keep getting better at because when we do play teams with speed, um, we have to we have to be better at some of the things that we're doing right now defensively. Yeah, last weekend we talked about the team scoring a little bit later than you had wanted, scoring not sure. so early in the game. This both these two games scored early. Friday scored early and often. Yeah. This game you scored early and held that lead. How did the leads in both games help? Um, I just I think it you know puts you at, I don't want to say at ease, but it, it gives you a one-up, you know, and the thing is getting the trick to keep going at it again and at it again, and um, today we did do that. Um, they came up with some really good saves, and uh, one of our goals was to score in the first 15 minutes of the game today, which we did achieve, and we wanted to be able to get a shutout. And we were able to, to just prevent shots on goal. We're practicing really hard in training uh, to play more aggressive defense. That means that we're not letting people into our circle to give them the chance to get shots of penalty corners. So what we do is we kind of play extended. We play to the dotted line of the circle, and it means that if fouls do occur, they're not as critical because they're outside the circle. We can stop our defense and go again. We're trying to force the ball out uh, as opposed to let them kind of allowing them to drop in on us. Laura talked about how this defense is basically the same coming back from last year, yeah. and it's developed. How has the team developed that defense over here? Yeah, definitely. We're all we're all really comfortable with each other because this is pretty much our second season playing together. I think that a huge thing that's improved this year is our outletting and the linking that we have with our midfield. Um, we've always been good at swinging the ball around in the defence, but now we've got some really good movement for the midfield as well, popping back in. So we've got a more sort of dynamic and fluent defence. Um, we've got people that are more able to move into different positions and keep the structure fluid as opposed to just staying in the same place all the time. It's uh, the fifth shutout of the season uh, for this defence. Does the defence pride itself on that, or how do you feel about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're kind of... We had a dodgy weekend last weekend where we could have easily had two shutouts and we didn't. So this weekend we were adamant that we weren't going to be letting any goals in. And absolutely, it's our fifth one. Um, I'm not sure how many games left in the season, but we're going to try and beat any sort of records that the that Syracuse Field Hockey has at the moment in shutouts.